Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number four of the West Ham United Master League series here on PES 2020 with Diego Maradona in charge. And today's game is going to see us go up against Frank Lampard's youngsters over at Chelsea. It's another London derby early on in the season. Can we get a result in this one? Can we beat Frank Lampard's kids? Would be very nice to beat Frank Lampard because I don't like him very much. He slags off West Ham every chance he gets. But so guys, that is today's game. And I'm just going to take you through the scores since the last episode. Which as you can see, we lost 3-1 to Manchester United. Very poor performance. Never really got anything going. If you've not seen it yet, go and check it out. And a little bit different to how things went in real life yesterday, as I'm recording this. 2-0 to the Cockney boys. Very happy with that. Very good performance. IRL. But unfortunately, could not replicate it in real life. And so, moving on from that, we had an FA Cup game against Preston North End. Very early to be having FA Cup games. Not quite sure why Pez does that. If anybody knows, please let me know down below. But yeah, we went 3-0 up within like the first hour or so. And then we took our foot off the gas. They got two back in between the 80th and the 90th minute to make things very, very nervy. But then we scored on the counter-attack with the last kick of the game to absolutely make sure we progress into the third round of the FA Cup. And then following that, we had another decent performance, 2-1 against Burnley. We played some very nice football in this one. It seems like the team finally getting to know each other and finally getting to work with each other. So that's very nice to see. But then after that, we did have two defeats on the spin. 1-0 versus Villa and 2-1 versus Watford. Two very poor performances. And so that leads us to today's game where we are up against Chelsea in the 10th game of the season. And we are 14th in the league with 11 points. A win today could see us, well, would see us overtake Chelsea, which would be very nice. Might even get us into 10th. I'm not quite sure what Sheffield United's goal difference is. Their goal difference is... Is plus five, so... No, we're not going to be going past Sheffield United, but we could get 11 and go go higher than Chelsea, which would be very, very nice to see. And so let's go into the messages. Felipe Anderton and Callum Wilson have both had knocks. That's something I have noticed from this game, that you don't tend to just get one injury at a time. I've been getting two at a time. I'm not sure if that's what any of you boys have noticed as well, but that's definitely something I've noticed. And I've been offered the Newcastle United job. Uh, no. Maradona is a madman. And Maradona working with Mike Ashley would be quite hilarious. But we are not interested at this particular moment in time. And so let's go choose the team for the game. Is there going to be any changes? Yes, there is. I want four nows off. Now that Anderson is back. And we, of course, want Wilson on the bench. In place of a jetty. And I think we leave it at that. I'm very happy with how Yarmolenko has been doing in real life. Two goals in two home games. But I do like Antonio's pace on it. I think he can stretch teams. So we're going to leave him on. But we are going to take off Zabaleta for four nows. And so that is going to be the team for today's game. Fabianski in goal. Masuaku, Balbuena, Diop and Fredericks. Rice in the midfield, Lanzini and Noble just ahead of him, and then Anderson, Antonio and Sebastian Haller up top. So this should be a decent game. Really, really hope we can get a result here. Felipe Anderson, in a little bit of space, plays it through to Haller, and his ball is taken off him there. Now Pedro, Pedro in behind, goes for the shot. And it's an early catch from Fabianski. Oh, 
Oh no, Batshuayi getting the ball there after a deflection. And it's another great save from Fabianski. And now Balbuena tries to play it long and he does. Now, oh, here we go again. Masuaku almost in. Very, very crucial interception there from the Chelsea man. Now it's Jorginho to Pedro. Alonso's in space. Oh, oh no. Chelsea with the lead. Michi Batshuayi with the goal. Ah. Oh. Oh my days, that is not good. That is absolutely terrible defending there. Alonso with it and Batshuayi with one of the easiest goals he will ever score. Masaku cuts inside and oh, he almost did it again. And Chelsea with the long ball clearance. And Balbuena tried to win it there but now Chelsea are in behind us here. Oh no, this could be two. This could be two, but it's not. The Super Bowl, Fabianski, getting us, keeping us in the game. Lanzini to take it. And the header goes in off Declan Rice, but that was not threatening at all. Kepa again with another long ball. Who have they got in charge? Frank Lampard or Big Sam Allardyce? Now Lanzini. Antonio, Felipe, and Matsuaku. He's got a chance to get across in here, but nobody on the end of it. Declan Rice, the ex Chelsea youngster, with the long shot, and it's saved by Kepa rather simply. Oh, Pedro, Pedro trying to get in behind, but Diop is not letting him. Oh, we're nervy here. Another great block. We really need to improve here. And oh, what's the referee given? I, I'm not quite sure what he's given here. If he's given a penalty. That is very arse. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. No idea what the referee's given. Thankfully, it's just a free kick. But Alonso with it, and we head it away. Now, Aspil Coetta. And Rice again winning the ball, but they're very nice, but he cannot get it away. And we're just waiting for the referee to call for half time, which I think he's going to do any second. Yes, he does. And oh! Wow, that has been quite poor. That has been one of the worst first halves we've had all season, I think. Chelsea with six shots, all of them on target. Us with just two and just the one on target. Ah, we're going to leave it how it is for the next ten minutes. See how we get on. That's sure I. Into William. And now Masuaku. Oh, fires that back at Fabianski. But thankfully, he's able to control it, which is more than you can say for Fredericks there. Oh, look at that for a run back from Declan Rice. Oh, we just cannot keep this ball. It's 2 0. Oh, Batshuayi with another goal. This one he fully deserves. The first one was made a bit easy for him, but that one, that's a cracking turn and a cracking start. Chelsea are just keeping the ball nicely here. Not doing a terrific amount with it, though. But now they're coming forward. They're in. Batshuayi, it's 3-0. Oh my days, our defending has been shocking. Mitzi Batshuayi with what I believe is his first hat-trick for the club. And he has just put us to the sword today. 
although we have made it very, very easy for him. Immediately following the kickoff, Callum Wilson's got the ball, goes to Fredericks with the cross, Hallow with the header, and that is poor. Again, Chelsea might be in here. Oh, they are. Yarmolenko's had an awful time defending that. And, oh, not quite sure how, but we have survived there. Diop with the ball to Wilson. Wilson's in space. Wilson, can he keep away? Oh, he's just taken down at the last second. Oval forward to Masuaku. To Diop. To Wilson. To Yarmolenko. And Wilson plays it. Rice. Diop. Diop with the shot and it's blocked. And his Dax goes out for a corner ball. But with just a minute left of normal time, it would take one of the biggest footballing miracles ever for us to get back into this. Diop, Diop's in the box. Diop shoots and that goes wide. And that is full time on an absolutely shocking performance. Diego Maradona has got a lot, a lot of work on to fix this. Because that is now two defeats on the camera in the spin. And what, three defeats in a row? I think that is in the league. So you have a lot of work on for Maradona. Let's have a look at the match stats. Eight shots, all of them on target. Two are four with only two on target. Oh my gosh, what an awful performance that was. Let's go and have a look, see where that leaves us in the league. 15, a little bit different to how things are going in real life. But yeah, 15th in the table, that is absolutely shocking. That's where we're going to be leaving it for today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, pop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo 20 content, FM20 content when that game drops. And if you're watching this today as I've recorded it and uploaded it, tomorrow I'm going to be starting a Planet Zoo series with my other half. He's going to be joining me for that. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, subscribe for all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Join the FM Creators Discord and the Passion for FM Discord as well. And visit the Passion for FM website and their Twitter page. All the details for all of them are going to be down below. And yep, that's all for this time. I shall see you later. Bye.